Well, the first thing that impresses me about them is that they're really aggressive. And if they were four feet across, nobody would go swimming. You wouldn't go wading. They would grab you by the leg and drag you out. <laughs> they're that kind of aggressive. If crabs were to disappear from the picture, I think it would be the end of my fishing career at this point. And I think that a lot of other fishermen on the West Coast would be in the same boat. I think you'd see a mass sort of die off of, of the fishing industry. The work on Dungeness crab kind of came about because we were looking at species that we felt uh, were particularly important uh, to the ecosystem and to people. Crab has become the, uh, if not the top player, the, the second to the top. There's really only two things I fish for anymore, black cod and crab. It has been the only lucrative fishery for the last, you know, eight or ten years. They're also really ecologically important because particularly the larvae, uh, which are planktonic, are prey uh, for a lot of fish species. So the work that's been done here on Dungeness Crab has really explored how ocean acidification might affect the early life stages, and we're exposing them to conditions of today and conditions that we expect in the future, so what you can call almost an ocean time machine. We found little effect on hatching success uh, in this kind of first round of experiments, uh, but we did find that they have lower survival. Um, when they're reared in conditions with high CO2. Nobody has stopped on the dock to talk to me about ocean acidification. And they've stopped me and talked to me about just about everything else, you know. Uh, We could use a little more uh, information and education about it, I would say. So there are a lot of things about how ocean acidification might affect a Dungeness crab that we don't know. The amount that we don't know vastly exceeds what we do know. Yeah, what we're really excited to do this summer is kind of take our experiments the next step and we're getting much more detailed in what we're measuring in terms of response to ocean acidification. We've kind of developed our societies and our kind of ecological systems with the marine ecology as it is right now. So any kind of profound shift in that is going to have big economic and cultural impacts. So, I mean, I'm trying to, you know, get my kid through college, and um, I'm a full-time single father, and, you know, it's like my whole life depends on there being a healthy crab fishery. <laughs> <laughs>